hello students today we are going to discuss about gross anatomy of the female breast so it is a roughly circular base of the female extended transversely from the lateral border of the sternum to the mid axillary line where it covers the second to sixth ribs and the nipple is situated on the fourth intercostal space about 10 cm from the median plane a small part of the mammary gland may extend along the inferior lateral aspect of the major muscle towards the axilla to form the axillary tails of sequence now we'll see about the location of the breast in the superficie of the pectoral region and if you see about the boundary in the vertically it is between the second and sixth ribs and in horizontally it is lateral border of the sternum to mid axillary line and if you see the extension of breast in above it is up to clavicle and below it is seven to eight ribs medially it is midline and posteriorly it is to the edge of the latus mus dorsi so this is about the location of breast from in a boundary side or in a extension side so if you see the structure of breast there are skin parenchyma and the stoma in the skin they have a nipples and areola so now you can see the picture in the skin they have a nipples and the areola what i have shown in a arrow marks and you can see the montecometry tubercles so now talking about the nipple it is a conical and cylindrical projection below the center of the breast and it usually present at the fourth intercostal space and it is pierced by 15 to 20 lactiferous duct it contains circular and longitudinally disposed smooth muscles so this is about the nipples which is present on skin of breast now say about the areola it's pigmented circular area of the skin around the base of the nipple and universally darkened after the first pregnancy outer margin contains modified sebaceous gland and this gland enlarge during the pregnancy and lactation so during the pregnancy it will become dark in color so next structure in the breast it is parenchyma so in that 15 to 20 lobes are present and composed of minute glandular structure called lobules and lobules empty by a ductules in the lactiferous duct so what is lactiferous duct? it is an open onto the nipple so which contains ampulla near its end so it is a reservoir of milk or abnormal discharge so through this the milk will come out this is opening in the breast so you can see there will be lobules, lobules, it has a ductules, ductules has a ductiferous duct and it has a sinus and it is covered with the nipple. So this is about the parenchyma. So next we are going to see the stroma. So it is partly fibrous and partly fatty. So it ligaments of copper. Okay, so in that anchor the breast with the skin and cancer cell may inflate this ligament. So the breast becomes fixed and construction of the ligament can cause retraction and puckering or folding of the skin so this is about the structure of breast in that we have seen the skin we have seen parenchyma and the stroma skin in this we have seen nipple and areola we can see the parenchyma and we have seen the stroma now talking about the blood supply in the breast so arterial supply that internal thoracic artery axillary artery and posterior intercostal arteries what are the these are the arteries will supply blood circulation to the breast you can go through this picture you can you can see the what are the artery will do the blood circulation or blood supply to the breast next venous drainage so in that superficial veins and the deep veins these are the responsible veins for the blood supply in the breast next coming to the nerve supply so fourth to sixth intercostal nerves by their anterior and lateral cutaneous branches 
and it has a milk secretion by prolactin not by the nerves so in the breast the secretion of milk is done by the prolactin prolactin hormone not because of nerves next we are going to see the function of breast what is the function of breast obviously it is a lactation it means in order to nourish a healthy offspring giving breast feeding to the baby so this is the function of female breast thank you